Metro Council members say they want to put people over profit as they look to end their nearly 30 year relationship with CoreCivic. The company currently runs the Metro Detention Facility, but tonight council members are explaining to our Levi Ismail why they're better off having the sheriff's office take over. Few of us will ever know what it's like to be on the other side of this fence. Those who do, whether directly or indirectly, say there's no peace of mind. What happens is when people go into the system, they stop being human and they become something less than. And this is something to start reversing that, that trend that is happening. Odessa Kelly of Stand Up Nashville is part of what she hopes will be one solution to criminal justice reform in the city. Outside the courthouse steps, Metro Council members say it's time to end the nearly 30 years of working with Core Civic one of the biggest for-profit prison companies in the country. We have these corporations making millions of dollars and executives making millions of dollars off of incarcerating brown and black people. That's the, the majority of the prison population are black and brown people. We need to fix that. Councilwoman Emily Benedict and others did the research and crunched the numbers. What they found is having the Davidson County Sheriff's Office take over the Metro detention facility by this time in 2020 made more sense. That sounds far off. However, it will take nine to 12 months to transition. The current contract ends later this month and the city has no choice but to renew with Core Civic for the short term. They say the dent on the Metro budget would be minimal since much of the facility is already funded by the state, to which Core Civic says Metro taxpayers should expect to be left with a bill for millions if this goes through. That sounds like the statement of somebody that does not want to lose a contract, right? That is not the statement of somebody operating sincerely in the public interest. CoreCivic has said not only will this cost taxpayers, but the programs they've created to keep inmates from returning could also be in jeopardy. Council members say we have the resources and the sheriff's office has the programs with no incentives for repeat business. They don't want people coming back through their doors, whereas Core Civic is specifically motivated by that same profit report to have people come back again and again. Levi Ismail, News Channel 5. Core Civic says they deny the allegation that they promote or lobby for any legislations to determine how long someone is in jail for. They say they're proud of the partnership with Metro Nashville and the programs they created to keep inmates from re-entry. Metro Council will vote on that bill on July 7th.